Hi, everyone. Thank you all for joining this virtual talk. My name is Jun Park. I'm a PhD student in the Computer Science Department at Stanford. And today, I will be presenting our work on power dynamics and value conflicts in designing and maintaining social technical algorithmic processes with my mentors and collaborators, Kerikara Halius, Nilofar Salehi, and Mutari Aslami. I will note that though I'm the one presenting today, this really was a collective effort amongst all authors, and especially Mutahari, who really jointly led this project. Algorithmic processes today make critical decisions in a wide array of contexts. And in response, we've seen a lot of effort put in to make the algorithmic processes align with the values of the community they serve. And in the CSW literature, some of the exciting progress on this front has come in the forms of participatory or value-sensitive design that take what I would consider to be the community-oriented approaches for designing these systems, where we incorporate the thoughts and values of the community members who are affected by these processes when we design them. Today, I want to build on this literature by focusing on one particular aspect of such community-oriented approaches that has received less attention in the recent years, which is that these quote-unquote communities often house value conflicts and power dynamics within them. And what makes this an interesting aspect to study is that they often determine the potentials and limitations of participation as is described in the long literature on participatory designs. So given this, today I want to discuss how would participation for designing an algorithmic process operate in a community with value conflicts and power dynamics? And how do we disentangle power and decision-making when some stakeholders can override an algorithm's decision? The context of focus in our study is the CSW student volunteer or SV selection process, which is a little bit meta for the conference. This process determines who will serve as SVs at the conference. And this is very much a social technical process where both the algorithm and human organizers play a role in determining the final outcome, which is the list of student volunteers. Our main finding is that the SV selection process operates in the context of power hierarchy and value conflicts. And in such context of our study, we found it difficult to reconcile the stakeholders' preferences when we sought their participation in the designing of the SV selection process. And what we surface along the way are two things that can help mitigate the challenges brought forth by these value conflicts and power hierarchy. One is value transparency, which denotes transparency into why, not how, the selection process was designed the way it did. And another is auditable algorithms, which denotes the use of algorithms whose outputs can readily be studied by the members of the community. So for the remainder of this talk, I want to discuss three things. First, our study context and procedure for this work, the results, which characterizes the SV selection process as a social technical process with value complex and power dynamics, and surface stakeholders' perspectives on how to mitigate the challenges of such systems. So first, let me set the stage for our study by describing its context. So as I mentioned, our study looked at the SV selection process for CSCW. In particular, the study took place during the 2019 in-person conference. And there are two reasons why we chose this as our study context. First, we wanted to observe how a community's value conflicts and power dynamics interacted with the design of an algorithmic process. And a conference organization process like this offers a nice setup for such a study. And another was that the SP selection process is a process that explicitly combines an algorithmic and human process. All SV applicants are asked to fill out a survey that asks questions such as, are you local and have you volunteered before? And those answers will be scored by an algorithmic system on the application platform whose weights and parameters are set by the organizers. And the organizers will take a pass through the generated list and ensure that the SV group is likely to be effective yet diverse. So given this context, we are asking how does the members of the community perceive the SV selection process and how would they redesign it? Participants included 24 members of the conference community who occupies a diverse set of roles. The study procedure included three steps. 
we first started with an interview that explored the participants' perception of the selection process, then a design task in which we asked the participants to redesign the SV selection process and the algorithm's weights, and finally, an exit discussion in which we explored how our participants might redesign the selection process more broadly. And to analyze the results, two members of the research team analyzed the output of the sessions through qualitative analysis. So what do we find? Let's break down what we found in more detail. Participants, when di participants diverged on what they viewed as desirable and non-desirable features of being an SV. For instance, during the redesigning process of the algorithm, our participants were asked if the system should prefer students who are local to the conference site. 10 participants answered yes, for reasons such as what a non-SV participant suggested here. I think the point of having conferences in different areas would be to increase accessibility. Six, however, said no. For instance, a SV participant mentioned, the local students have the lowest cost for attending this conference. Meanwhile, the rest suggested that whether the students are local should not matter. And from the perspective of an organizer, this was partially because there was no way of verifying if somebody is actually local. And these sorts of disagreement and diverging views recurred in many of the questions that the participants were asked during our study and in the actual application survey. When the views did not converge, the participants advocated for value transparency, which is transparency into why a decision was made. An organizer noted that the most of the stuff we've seen here is to be solved with both and probably more so with the openness. Even if they don't agree with everything we did as the organizers, people would probably understand if we clearly explain why we did it. Another SV echoed this. What's important in the SV selection process is the logic behind selection. In addition, the power hierarchy within the community and the potentials for that to manifest human bias was widely felt and acknowledged. An organizer noted, people in an already powerful position could probably ask their friends and their close colleagues. Similarly, an SV mentioned, there is a portion of human bias in this process. In response, our participants suggested that an algorithm, if auditable, can be a power balancer that can counteract power hierarchy and human biases. An organizer noted, the human process actually probably concerns me more. I'm suspect about human biases and how they might actually be harder to assess. An SV echoed the sentiment. I think there should be a maximum amount of SVs that the organizers can choose to be selected so it's kind of limiting the human power of overturning their machine and overturning the system. And with that, thank you everyone for your time.